In this video, I'm going to explain the basics of solar power. There are different types of solar power, and they work in very different ways. Some types of solar power are referred to as active solar. These systems rely on other technologies to function. For example, photovoltaic power, or PV power, is what most people think of when they talk about solar. If a house in your neighborhood gets its power from solar panels on the roof, that would be photovoltaic power. This is the same technology that powers most desktop calculators. Another form of active solar power is called solar thermal. It uses concave mirrors to focus sunlight onto a tube filled with oil. The sunlight superheats the oil, which is used to heat water into steam that powers a turbine and generates electricity much like a coal or natural gas power plant would, but instead of using fossil fuels to provide the heat, the sun is used instead. Active solar technologies like these rely on the larger system to work. The photovoltaic panels have no moving parts, so they are unlikely to break, but these systems also include inverters and storage batteries which have the potential to fail. Solar thermal plants rely on a large infrastructure to operate, which could be interrupted by mechanical issues. Another way of harnessing the sun's energy is through passive solar technologies. These systems are designed to operate using nothing but the sun's energy. So, as long as the sun keeps rising every day, they will keep working. For example, passive solar heaters like this one are often used to warm the water in a swimming pool. As the water circulates through the pool pump, it can be sent on an extra journey through the winding black pipes. The sun warms the water significantly before it returns to the pool. Units like this can also be used to warm the air in a house by installing one under a window and allowing the sun's heat to cause a natural convection current within the pipes. The warmer air rises into the room and draws cooler air in to replace it. Passive solar is also used for lighting. Buildings that use skylights to take advantage of the sun's light during the day are using passive solar technology. This avoids the need to use as many electric lights indoors. In areas like basements where skylights are not possible, reflective tubes can be used to channel sunlight from the roof and direct it into the indoor space. Passive solar can even be used to cook food if you have the time to wait around for it. Passive solar technology is a great way to leverage the energy of the sun because it doesn't rely on any special support system or infrastructure to work. It just works. Photovoltaic panels convert the sun's light directly into electricity. They do this using materials called semiconductors, which sometimes act like conductors and sometimes act like insulators, depending on a given condition. In this case, the presence of sunlight. Light makes free electrons in the semiconductors start to flow, and metal contact strips carry the flowing electrons out of the solar cell where it is converted from DC electricity into AC electricity, and usually stored in batteries for later use. Let's take a look inside a solar cell to see how they work. A photovoltaic panel is made of two different types of semiconductor. Both are silicone, but one half is mixed with impurities that cause it to give up electrons easily, creating an N-type semiconductor and the other is mixed with impurities that draw free electrons, called a p-type semiconductor. When the sun's energy, in the form of photons, strikes the surface of the panel, the photons knock electrons loose on the semiconductor material. Free electrons in the n-type semiconductor make a mad dash through the metal contact strips to reconnect with the empty electron holes in the p-type semiconductor. Along the way, we direct the flowing electrons through a circuit and get them to do electrical work for us. Like any energy source, there are advantages and disadvantages of photovoltaic technology. For individuals installing solar power for personal home use, solar arrays can cover their own cost after about eight years by offsetting electric bills or eliminating them altogether. If a solar array generates more electricity than the home can use, the excess can even be sold back to the power company. However, the initial cost of installing solar panels can be high ranging from around $25,000 to around $35,000 for an average home. This cost can be reduced by tax credits, and some solar customers save money on installation by leasing their solar array instead of buying it. Solar panels emit zero pollution while they make electricity. However, they are not completely without an environmental footprint. The manufacturing, transportation, and disposal of solar panels still presents some environmental impact, though it's far lower than fossil fuel alternatives. Solar arrays cost practically nothing to maintain, 
where many alternatives require regular maintenance that can be costly. While modern, efficient solar panels work well in most places, not every location is suitable for solar power. Areas that receive little sunlight might not be a good fit for photovoltaics. Installing solar panels doesn't usually require a detrimental impact on the land. It's easily installed on existing structures or can be installed on land that is otherwise unproductive, such as desert, harsh rocky terrain, or on top of covered landfills. Some people oppose solar power projects because they find solar arrays to be an eyesore. This has led many solar manufacturers to design solar arrays that blend in better with structures and landscapes. Another promising advantage of solar technology is that it continues to improve as more people decide to use it. The efficiency of solar panels is on the rise, while the price of solar electricity per kilowatt hour continues to fall. In 2019, solar power represented just over 1% of energy production in the United States. However, since 2010, solar production has seen a steep increase, which is projected to continue as the technology becomes cheaper, more efficient, and more widely available. Solar installations in the United States have grown 35-fold since 2008, and the average cost of solar panels has dropped nearly 50% since 2014. Still, the adoption of solar power in other parts of the world continues to outpace the U.S. Germany has long been a world leader in the use of renewable energy, and 7.7% of Germany's energy in 2019 came from solar power. This is still less electricity than the U.S. produced using solar power in the same year, but as a percentage of total energy used, Germany has proven that renewables can replace fossil fuels on a large scale. China produces the most solar power of any country, but this source still only made up 1.2% of the country's energy use in 2018. Worldwide, the use of solar power increased 24.3% in 2019. It's a fast-growing source of renewable energy, making up 26% of global renewable energy production in 2019, compared to 14% just five years earlier. The future looks bright for solar power as more companies work to improve the technology and make it cheaper, more efficient, and more available than ever. The union of Tesla and SolarCity promises to deliver solar roof panels that look just like a normal roof except more durable and that provide solar power at a lower price and higher efficiency than currently available systems. Other companies and research groups are working on developing photovoltaic paint that can turn any surface into a solar collector easier installation than current solar PV systems. Another potential direction for solar power technology is in solar windows. The technology of transparent solar panels is still very experimental, but this could prove to be an exciting new way to capture the sun's energy without the need for rooftop or ground-mounted arrays. In 2014, solar roadways looked like the future of solar technology, but early efforts to develop high-quality solar panels that also functioned as high-quality road surfaces were a bit of a flop. Still, many innovators are not ready to put this idea to rest, so we may see more effective innovations in this space in the future. For more info on solar power, visit HowStuffWorks.com and type solar cells into the search bar. You can also visit the U.S. Department of Energy website at energy.gov or the U.S. Energy Information Administration at EIA.gov. PV Magazine covers stories about photovoltaics from all over the world. Or you can see how renewable energy is being put to work in New York State by visiting the New York State Energy Research and Development Authority at nycerta.ny.gov.